En rueda de prensa de los directores de equipo en el Gran Premio de Bélgica, Christian Horner fue consultado acerca de si Daniel Ricciardo sería el siguiente en la lista de candidatos para ocupar un asiento en Red Bull Racing en el caso de que se produjera una vacancia, ya sea por el rendimiento de Checo Pérez o por enfermedad o por cualquier otra razón. Well, obviously the reason that uh, Daniel was brought back into the seat is not because he has long-term aspirations to be a Alfa Tori driver for the next five years. You know, he, he sees it as the quickest route to getting back into a competitive seat. And I think that, uh, you know, clearly his objectives are on a 2025 Red Bull Racing seat when we have uh, obviously a vacancy. Now, um, you know, Daniel has an opportunity uh, between now and the end of the year to uh, to demonstrate you know his that he's hasn't lost any of his form um and uh, and then obviously a decision will be made whether he he uh remains in that seat um for a further for a further 12 months but um it would uh you know obviously be very clear that Alpha Tori drivers and Toro Rosso before that drivers have been placed there to develop them as potential Red Bull racing candidates and um you know Daniel's very aware of that and that's his objective but um you know that wouldn't be before 2025